Well, when there's a chill in the air, you know things are about to get wild, so not <laughs> today yet. Uh, the puck drops on the start of the hockey season on Thursday. Yep, but today I got a taste of what hockey in the state of Minnesota is all about. Now, it's definitely, guys, about the action on the ice, but it's also about the experience. And for fans, the food is becoming a big part of NHL game nights. The Minnesota Wild have an annual tradition of rolling out new menu items to tempt diehard fans and those who may not be there for the game itself. As someone who is not totally invested in sports and go for the experience, the food is like 100% a reason why people will go. Taste of the Wild gives foodies and other folks their first look at new items, from Swedish meatball sliders and pepper jack mac bites to walleye cakes and barbecue corn ribs inspired by the corn kid. So, so this basically was inspired by TikTok. Y yes, a little bit. I hate to admit it, but yes, because we <laughs> see stuff and it's it's fun and we want to be doing the fun things. I know it's like picking probably a favorite child, but if there was one or two things yes. that we have to try when we come to a game, what would they be? I want to get everybody down to the tap house for the grand reopening, get that place back open and try the wings. Nordy told me the same thing, I think. Yeah. So Chef Kyle said I had to dig into the wings. You got your St. Paul smoke, you've got sweet corn, a typical buffalo, but then these two, these are new. We got the dill. Okay, it's kind of like a dill chip. It's not, it's not like a strong dill flavor, but that's good. Okay. PB and J. You can see the peanuts on there, the glaze. Oh, wow. That's good, especially with the crunch. Winner, winner, that's my chicken dinner. Mm, that's really good. Maybe one of our foodie friends can better explain the taste. It's a little sticky. So. <laughs> Um, you can definitely like taste the peanut butter in it, um, but it doesn't like overpower the chicken wing. Like, I could definitely go through a plate of this. I feel a little embarrassment after watching myself <laughs> just right. dive into Don't. those wings. You're no, I did the same. A lot out there. Yeah, and there are dessert options too, Amelia and Jeff. You ready to try these? Well, sure. I'm going to present in. like I'm a chef, even though okay. I'm not. Yes. What I have for you today is a banana cream pie parfait with peanut butter crumble. Oh, that's delicious. What do you think of that? I like banana that cream is, yeah. pie in general, so this is in the spot. Very good. And the next one is a white chocolate and macadamia nut cookie dough. Oh you know gosh. what, thanks for bringing these. Yeah, <laughs> this is a nice, this is a nice little touch here in the afternoon. Mm. That might be a little more sweet for me, but rush. it's still good. Yeah. I do like the parfait. Yeah, that's that's my favorite too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of options though. You know, if mm -hmm. you're looking for a vegetarian option, there's a really good cauliflower with some spice. It's got some kick to it. That's yeah. really good too. Oh wow, so many well, options. You're a tough assignment today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very difficult. <laughs> really difficult. Yeah. yeah. Where are those wings at? <laughs> <laughs> those those are yeah <laughs> those are gone uh, those are gone yeah the wild open the season at the x on thursday against the new york rangers coming up here at six guys we're going to tell you about a new all-inclusive food and drink option that's available at wild games like right. a resort looking all forward to it yeah <laughs> your food your drink all covered for one low low price <laughs> we'll find Thank that out you.